What's up guys, my name is George and welcome to this episode of Career Mode with Valencia here in Field 14. Since I have been uploaded uh, uh, consistently uh, Career Mode, I am going to give you a little, uh, you know, um, recap on what happened. So, we started out with a few friendly matches, of course, like it's always, we played against Real Betts as we won that match 2-1. to one. Then we played some Europa League games. And then, uh, which we won, 2-0 against Dundalk FC. We played against Barcelona, we lost 3-0. Then we play, played it back uh, again with Dundalk and we won that, uh, that two-legged game, uh, two-legged uh, matches. And uh, we are on to the next round of the Europa League, which was the, you know, the, uh, which was the, uh, the thing that we were supposed to do, right? We couldn't, you know, mess that up very early in this, in this Europa League. Um, and some of the players that I signed, of course, I signed Hector Moreno, the center back uh, from Mexico. Um, then we also had other players like Javi Garcia, which was uh, pretty good. Because considering we can use him as a center back and center defensive mid, it's always going to be uh, a good thing. Uh, we also had uh, Figuli there. Uh, well, he was already in the team, my bad. No, he was already there. He's been there with Valencia since, you know... Uh, already, so I didn't buy him. Uh, then we got Diego Costa. That was a big signing for the club. Diego Costa, um, a player that played horrible in the World Cup in real life, but in the game he's a pretty good player. Uh, then we had some other players that you know that I'm gonna use for the bench, and, you know, for um, you know, just to bring on uh, like Adrian, that Brazilian player. So we're coming down to the transfer deadline, and we had an, an uh, that was uh, we had a, a couple of uh, you know heroes in there. Was, yeah, we we still had some money in there to spend. And I decided to make a bid for Luke Shaw, who in real life is uh, already a Manchester United player. And I decided to go with this guy because he is a uh, very good player. Left back, uh, 20 years old. Uh, I just decided that it would be pretty good to get him. And he wasn't that expensive. And the wages, uh, I knew there was not going to be a lot. 45000 is what he wanted. And I thought that was pretty good. So he accepted the offer and we accepted as well. Luke Shaw, new player for Valencia. Too bad I think I'm only going to do one season with Valencia, you know, considering that FIFA 15 is coming up in September, uh, late September. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do two seasons. Uh, I, I'm going to try, but I don't think I can, I can do it. Um, and so yeah, it was just gonna be just gonna it's gonna suck that I'm not gonna be able to use Luke Shaw a little bit more. Uh, but we are not using Valencia in this one. In this game, we're playing in the uh, I think this is the Euro qualifiers, and we've got Russia in front of us, Mother Russia. My uh, Russian accent is not very good. Uh, but we played we played uh, this match here, and the first goal comes in with Ether. That was a great header. That was a great cross by Ronaldo in the back of the net, and then Ether comes back and gets another goal that was a very good finish putting it past the goalkeeper nothing to do there for him well actually no the goalkeeper could have done something there you know i always kind of say that thing where the goalkeeper couldn't done couldn't have done anything but i think he could have saved this one even though it was a very good finish but uh it, it could have been a save you know another goalkeeper might have saved it russia surprisingly gets a goal in the second half 52 minutes I really didn't think they were going to be able to score on me, but they end up doing 2-1. And now I said I have to go. I'll, I'll have to go. I have to attack. I have to go and get that third goal and make this, uh, you know, just a little bit more comfortable for me and not be so worried at the end of the game. We're still probably going to finish second or first in this uh, in this group. I think Italy is the only team that's really given me, you know, uh, uh, some competition in this one, in this group. And I think it's going to be me and them for sure. But who is going to be the first, the, the, the team going first? I don't know. It could be me or it could, it could be them. We scored the third one there. That was a good header by Ronaldo. And then Ronaldo gets another one here. And that was 4-1. This was already getting disgusting for Russia. Uh, they were just getting scored. And I was just scoring uh, goal after goal here. And Ronaldo makes a really good strike here. I actually really like that run using his pace. One of the paciest players in the game. And then look at this goal. Unbelievable shot. That was one of the freaking best goals I've scored, uh, I think, in, in an international match. It was just amazing. Joao Moutinho is just a very good player, but I did not expect him to get that from there. The, the way it goes in, though, it's kind of like he chipped it, but he still took it's, it was still like a hard shot. You know, it's it, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it was just a very good, very good goal. Um, and here, I don't know. I think the goalkeeper couldn't have done anything for sure here in this one it, it just 
I, I think it caught him by surprise too as well. Uh, and he was way off. Uh, but yeah, that was a great goal by Joao Moutinho. And that was going to end the massacre. 5-1 against the Russians. They were just not, this was not their day for them. Even though they really got close after that, they got that goal when it was 2-0. They just could not do anything else after that. Uh, 11 shots to 7, you know, uh, so it, it wasn't really that bad for them. But in terms of finishing, I did the, I, I was better overall. Italy, 24 points now on top, 19 for myself. So now it's 5 points. And I think, uh, I think there's only 10 matches or something, or 12 maybe. Uh, so I think they are going to get first. But it doesn't matter as long as we qualify. Uh, you know, that's still good. Even though I don't think we'll ever gonna be, we're not going to be able to play the Euro qualifiers. You know, if I don't keep on playing with Valencia th this season. Or if I don't keep on doing career mode because of the 15 coming up. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, so next next up, oh, we're looking first at the league table. And we are in 10th place. But it's only been three games. Two wins. One loss. That one loss was against the uh, one of the best teams in the league. And that is FC Barcelona uh, with three wins. Nine goals. Like four. One against. Right now, they are just killing. They're just running over all the teams right now. Atletico Madrid is all it's also there, but they already lost one match. So next match here was Celta Vigo. A team that, you know, on paper it doesn't look good. Uh even though I really couldn't see the names, but uh, Celta de Vigo is just not a very good team. They're a low low to meta table team. You know, that's th that would be their best uh finish if they could get middle in the mid uh, mid table. Uh but this match guys ended up being so freaking hard. They were so many chances. It was just unbelievable. First one, they had it. A shot wasn't that good. Then we had Figuli there with his left foot. Completely misses it. Vanega comes in with this shot. The goalkeeper saves it. 22 minutes, a header. Diego Costa cannot put this one in the back of the net. Guardado gets this one here. And it was a right-footed shot. And he's never going to get a good shot like that. It has to be on his left foot. Silva so Vigo comes in with a great shot. And the goalkeeper, Guaita was uh, putting on a show actually he was putting on a show again here it's another great play and Guaita makes a sick ass save Guaita is just an amazing goalkeeper and we also have the, um, I think we also got uh, Diego Alves is that his name I think uh, in the bench so you know we, we've got a cover on the goalkeeping there uh, we had another great chance here and now it's the second half hits the post Oh my god, cannot score. Please, Vanega takes a shot right to the goalkeeper. This was this was insane, guys. It was shot after shot. Sell to the Beagle here again. Takes a shot right there. Nothing. And then look at this one. Look at this one. Oh my god. That was just insane, guys. That was just in, an insane play. Um, I don't have the replay. I actually let it, you know, go so I could see the replay. Uh, but there was no replay. But that was an amazing save by Guaita. And at the end of the match, we had this uh, great cross here in the header. The header goes out. And that was it, guys. That was freaking it. It was actually one of the best 0-0 games I played, honestly. It was kind of like a Brazil-Mexico game, you know, 0-0, but very good. Uh, but at the, end of the, at the end of the match, 1-1, we each take a point, and I think that was fair. Uh, all right, guys, that's it for this episode of Career Mode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Later.